So problem solving. When I think about defense, when I think about coaching football, to me it's all about problem solving, okay? Offenses are going to pose problems to us, right? They're going to pose questions that we have to have solutions for. Um, and when I think about designing defense or having those answers, um, I want to cut the widest path down the middle, right? So um, depending on down the distance and field position and tendencies, all those things kind of you know affect their catalog of plays, the catalog of questions they can ask us. Um, and so my job as a coach is not only prepare my kids, but also to give them the best um, a tactical advantage to cut the widest path down those series of questions. Um, so when I think coaching, when I think defense, I think problem solving. Um, you'll see it in my Twitter uh, profile. It says profession, professional problem solver. Um, and I truly believe it. Okay, so this is our base defense. All right, we are a 3-5-3. And I'm very specific in saying that we're a 3-5-3. And the reason we are 3-5-3 is that um, – we have a certain type of player here at Park City. Okay, we are a large school, <clears throat> but we are always seems to be short on line. Okay, so uh, we like to be two platoon, and we especially want to be two platoon on the lines. So when we're starting to think about the personnel that best fits our kids, right? So I want to get the best 11 defenders on the field. And for us, right now, currently, that's the 3-5. Now, um, we might be small, but we have really tough gritty athletes. So my corners and linebackers may be the same size, but their demeanor, right? Coaching to what, who they are as opposed to some sort of artificial uh, size, importancy. Um, you know, we predicate aggression and speed over everything. So the 3-5 allows us to be, you know, in, in better positions, to play aggressive, to take advantage of our speed. Um, we've all given up 300 yards passing. We've all given up 300 yards rushing. Um, the, the rushing issue is always going to be the one that we want to stop. Um, the, the game is advanced. Passing is so much more complex than it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Um, but we still like the fit of having those eight guys. Right? Um, often when I explain our 3-5 to people, I tell you it fits exactly like a 4-4 four, four, where you're always getting your three tech to the play. Um, so while it looks like a three down, it really does feel, run fit-wise as a coach, like a 4-4. Four, four. Um, so that's why we've chosen for this to be our base defense. Okay, so how do we build answers in? Uh, the where I start is like, where are we weak? Okay, where are we weak X's and O's? Okay, so X O's wise, being a one high, right, cover three team, immediately sends off the, the alarms about four verticals. Okay, so we've got to build answers in because we know that we are X and O weak in that position. All right, so we have to have a plan for how we're going to handle that, that issue, okay? Um, I also think you have to build answers in for your talent, right? Not only your talent, but their talent, right? So we've got to understand, like, I've got these kids. I've got 175-pound D lineman. How can I protect him? How can I allow him to play his best ball, right? Can I make adjustments for him? Can I protect the kid? Can I put him in a position to be successful, okay? There's also talent disparity, their talent's better than ours. How can we offset it, right? Or if you're lucky, maybe they have a talent deficiency. How can we take advantage of that talent deficiency, okay? And the other thing is, is coaching, all right? Now, uh, finding quality assistance, having a, a full staff of quality coaches is increasingly more difficult every year, all right? It's particularly in our situation, we have our head coaches in the building and everyone else is off campus at the varsity level. So we practice, we plan, we know going in that that's one of the things that we have to deal with, okay? How many coaches do we have? Are we coaching two platoon? Are we coaching one platoon? All those variables have to come in, like what can I coach, right? This comes down to what's too much, too much install, too much this, right? Um, and so those are all the things that we have to think about from a weakness standpoint, like, right? I would love to stay in our base defense. I've often said that, um, you know, vanilla is my favorite flavor of ice cream. Okay, I want to be basic. I want to be plain. I would love, the dream would be to be in our base, cover three, 80% of our snaps for your season. That, mean, I would love, that would love for that to be the situation. However, we'd have to be playing really good ball for that to be true. Okay, so maybe that's why it's the dream because it, it's one of those byproducts. We'd have a, a really nice season. Um, but, but that's just not realistic. We've got to have answers. Okay, and so when we start, like I said, the reason we're at 3-5 is we are short online. We don't have a lot of size. We are in, we're going.